and you may increase these cut speeds for circles by defining different diameter values after 3.5 mm up to 5 mm radius this means up to 10 mm diameter starting from 7 mm diameter let us give 60 mm per second cut speed and starting from 5 mm diameter to 10 mm diameter let us give 90 mm per second cut speed so when we save this the machine will ask the password to us the password is if you did not change is one and it is already written by a star there just click ok and the cut speeds are set now if you want to add more lines to here just click on add and enter the interval which you want to define the cut speed and then click ok if you'd want to delete one line just click on that line and delete if you want to modify one line just click on that line twice or just click on modify button so doing so you may give default cut speeds for circular cuts only for circular cuts finishing this part let us jump to the engrave work mode engrave menu on the engrave menu there are also some default values given by you to the computer to the laser cut software in here we define some acceleration values start speed and y speed for different speed intervals while moving the laser head during engraving starting from zero for example to 150 millimeters per second speed apply these settings and starting from 150 to 250 apply these settings and up to 850 millimeters per second speed the engrave mode in the engrave mode apply these settings you give these ones to the machine in the default ones they are all equal to each other and all y speeds are 30 as you see all accelerations are 6000 all start speeds 40 and etc so during engraving the machines movements are good enough with these settings and our past experience shows that you do not require to play around with these engraving parameter settings so much for better results or for better total times and after you are done just click on save to make the change effect our cutting and engraving results so it will ask you a password this password is given by a star in the default value it is one if you do not enter anything just click ok it will accept that and then close the machine options menu to show some more top menu icons that we left to the end of our lessons let us draw a rectangle and let us click on the define cut route 
icon, define cut root. When we click on it, you see before the red, the yellow square is on the left top corner of the square, this rectangle. Bring it to in here and click in here just by clicking on the left mouse button. You see now the yellow square is on the right top corner. This means that the cutting operation will start from here and move in this direction. The another icon set knife origin gives the laser head position. If you click on for example left down you will see a blue point is formed on the left down part of the rectangle. You may click on center, a blue point is now formed in the center. You may click on any other place by just targeting your mouse and click on left mouse button and now the laser head accepts this point as the reference which means that you bring your laser head of the machine here and the machine cuts the square cuts the rectangle in here this point may be an arbitrary point wherever you move your laser head it will accept that point as this blue point and this distance away it will cut this rectangle for example if you click on right top you will see right top menu the right top of the rectangle is blue you cannot see it because of the yellow one because we also set the cut root start point also that corner so now the knife origin the laser head origin reference point is given as the right top corner so wherever you move your laser head it will accept the place of the laser head existing place of the laser head existing position of the laser head as the right top corner of this rectangle and then cut that rectangle on that part for example if you move laser head from here to here then this rectangle will be cut in here then if you click on simulate button you will see that the laser head you will see some coloring on your shape this shows how the machine will cut your rectangle it will show you the root of the laser head you can set the simulate speed in here increase the speed if you increase the speed and simulate again you will see that that is done faster and if you click on estimate work time it will calculate the total cut time to total work time for this operation and tell you it gives 10 seconds for this operation this means with this cut speed and with the machine operation operation parameters configuration settings we have done cutting this square takes 10 seconds